All right, everyone. So we're going to do a quick video on multiplying and dividing with scientific notation. Um, you should have already completed this lesson in the OMS, and then this video is just going to reinforce it so we can practice in class later this week. So um, I'm attaching some guided notes with this lesson, and um, if you have any questions, let me know, but you can print off these guided notes and fill them out as you go. We are going to cover multiplying, examples for multiplying, dividing and examples from all or dividing in class or in this video and then we will handle the practice in class when you come to class later this week so we're going to go ahead and get started with multiplying and dividing in scientific notation so there are four steps to multiplying in scientific notation so the first step is we need to rearrange the factors and the bases of 10 and i'm going to type this in here so that you get this in here okay so we're going to rearrange the factors and the bases of 10. So that's going to be your numbers in front and then your tens on the um, times 10 times 10 on the outside. Okay. Then we're going to multiply the factors. We're going to multiply the factors. So those are the numbers in front. Then we are going to multiply the bases. We're going to multiply the bases and um, add your exponents. So we're going to multiply the bases and follow the product of powers rule, basically. Okay. And last but not least, let's get all this to fit on here. Uh, not quite. Oh. Hold on. And then last step, we are going to make sure your answer is in scientific notation. Um, with like adding and subtracting, um, sometimes the answer can get out of scientific notation. We have to fix that. Okay. So we're going to make sure answers in scientific notation to finish this type of problem. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from here and we're going to do these two examples together to make sure we understand these. Okay. So I'm going to start with example one. It says evaluate, which means we know means to simplify or multiply or divide. Um, so we're going to evaluate this 7.2 times 10 to the third times 1.6 times 10 to the fourth. So we're going to rearrange our factors. So we're going to take 7.2 times 1.6 in front, and then we're going to have um, 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth in back. Okay. So this is where you can use your calculator. Um, 7.2 times 1.6. I'm fine with you using a calculator on this. And that is 11 and 5,200. So 11.52 times. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the bases using the product of powers rule. So 10 to the third times 10 to the fourth. We do not want to write all this out. That's going to be huge numbers, huge numbers. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep the base of 10 and we're going to follow the product of powers rule, which says to add our exponents. We get 10 to the seventh power. Now, um, that's step one, that's step two, that's step three. Now we just have to make sure answer is in scientific notation. As of right now, it is not in scientific notation. So what I need to do is I need to move my decimal forward one. So if I add a decimal place, that means I have to add one to my exponent. So I get 1.152 times 10 to the eighth power. That is going to be my answer, 1.152 times 10 to the eighth power. Okay, let's try number two using the same process. 2.6 times 10 to the fifth times 1.9 times 10 to the second. So I'm going to rearrange this with 2.6 times 1.9 out front. And then times 10 to the fifth, times 10 to the second out back. And just so you know, the commutative property of multiplication is what allows me to rearrange this this way. That is the commutative property of multiplication. So I put 2.6 times 1.9 in my calculator, and I get 
4.94, okay? And then I'm going to put time, 10 to the fifth and 10 to the second. We keep the base and we add our exponents, we get 10 to the seventh power. Lucky for me, this one is already in scientific notation. There's only one number in front of my decimal, I'm good to go. So this is how we multiply in scientific notation. Dividing is gonna be very, very similar, okay? So let's flip over and look at dividing. So what are our steps for dividing in scientific notation? Well, they're actually the same steps as multiply, except for we're gonna divide, and we're instead of doing the product of powers, we're gonna do quotient of powers. So our first step, just like it was before, and let me actually make this a little smaller so it fits, is going to be um, rearrange your factors and bases. Rearrange your factors and bases of 10. Okay, step two is gonna be to divide your factors. So we should all be writing these steps down either on our guided notes or on notebook paper. Um, and you can cut, set it up like I have it so we have nice organized notes. And then we're gonna divide our bases, our bases of 10 using the quotient of powers rule. Okay, so this is going back to that foldable we did in our last unit, okay? We're going all the way back to our foldable we did in our last unit. And then step four, last but not least, is always make sure your answer is in scientific notation. Make sure your answer is in scientific notation, okay? So these are our steps for dividing, very similar to multiplying, so we're gonna go from here. All right, so step, or let's do example three. So we're gonna rearrange this and we're gonna split it up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take seven thirds, so we're gonna split that up, times 10 to the ninth divided by 10 to the eighth power. So we're gonna start with seven thirds. So we're gonna divide seven by three, and yes, we get this long, crazy repeating decimal, we're just gonna round that to, let's round to the nearest um, hundredth. So we're gonna say 2.33. And I'll try not to give y'all ones like that on um, tests and stuff. Times 10 to the ninth and 10 to the eighth. So quotient of power says if the base is the same, we keep the base and then we subtract the exponent. So nine minus eight is one. Nine minus eight is one. So we have 2.33 times 10 to the first power. So here is my answer, and I am actually lucky because this is already in scientific notation. Let's do example four. So example four, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna split up our factors. So 8.37 divided by 2.7 Human read my own font. Seven times 10 to the eighth divided by 10 to the third. So we're gonna start with 8.37. So we're gonna do 8.37 divided by 2.7, and we're gonna get 3.1 times 10. And we're gonna do, we keep the base of 10 and we subtract our exponent, so eight minus three is five. And luckily for me, this one is also in scientific notation. So that's all I have to do. It's literally that easy. It's divide, so track your exponents, make sure it's in scientific notation. So we will go over this practice later on this week in class. Um, I hope you have this, these notes ready to go by then. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions and have a wonderful day.